Hello friends, welcome to KSR Data Vision. In this video, we shall look at Python coding questions. So, if you have attended interviews in the recent times, you would have noticed that the trend has changed. Previously, companies used to ask questions on projects, skill sets, and general interview questions like what is a list, what is a tuple, what is an iterator, etc. But these days, they are asking candidates to share the screen and code live. That too without taking any external help like Google. This trend is catching up. Some companies use coding tests to screen candidates, especially freshers. And this is true for all MNCs like TCS, Accenture, uh, like, you know, IBM, etc. This will be the first step. Only if they are able to code without any errors in their code, their profile is considered for the next round. And for the experienced candidates, interviewers are taking live coding tests. Like they are asking candidates to share their screen and then code live, actually. So, and uh, like, you know, that too, without taking any actual help like Google, they cannot Google while they are coding. So this is the most difficult aspect. Students are finding this to be the most difficult aspect of the interview. They are able to answer questions and projects easily as they have good knowledge, but they are not able to solve questions especially without taking any help from Google. So to help all the students, we are creating a playlist of all the commonly interviewed coding questions and we'll be posting them regularly. So we are sure that this will help the students whoever is appearing for the interview immensely. And the good news is that similar questions are being asked for Python developers, data engineers, and data scientists. For all Python developers and uh, like, you know, data engineers and data scientists, the preparation remains the same. So the same questions or similar kind of questions are being asked for all these streams. So let's get started. So in this video, we shall look at a couple of questions on regex. So the difficulty level for these particular questions are easy. The first question is extract the email service provider name or the domain name from the list of email addresses. Given a list of email addresses, we have to uh, like, you know, extract these values like data vision, KSR consultants, Gmail, test, Yahoo, etc. These are domain or email service provider name. So we have to extract it. So this is the question, guys. So I want you to pass the video, try it on your own, and then probably you can come back and check my solution later. So pass the video now. So let's get started. Let us look at these questions. Let us look at the answer for this particular question. OK, so this is the email list. Let me copy it. And I'm using Jupyter for this particular exercise. So this is the list of uh, email addresses. There are about five email addresses. We have to extract the domain name. So I've already Im uh, imported RE. And this is my email address list. So Instead of doing it for the entire list at once, let me do it for one email address. So let me copy one email address. Let me just say email equals to probably ksrdatavision.com. Once we are able to extract domain name for this particular email address, we can generalize it to all the email addresses and we can loop it for a list. OK, so in order to extract this particular domain name, what we need to do is extract everything that is between at the rate and dot. Simple guys. So if you know that we have to extract everything that is between at the rate and dot, we have already answered 50% of the question. So all is all that is remaining is we are to do it using regex. So let's do it. So for that, let me use search re dot search re dot search and then I want to do it for email, okay? And then what do I want to do? I want to extract everything that is between at the rate and dot, okay? Everything between at the rate and dot. I want to extract everything. So what goes between at the rate and dot? It could be my lowercase letters, it could be my uppercase letters, or it could be digits, zero to nine. So let me run this. Let me run this. I got a match, like from three to six, and it said at the rate DA. Why did it give only uh, DA and not everything? Because we said A to Z capitals, A to Z in small letters, and then zero to nine. 
and only the like you know it took only three characters because it took d a from capital letters and small letters and the last letter whatever it is it took c but if you want to get everything you have to do something called as plus all the digits not just one digit but all the digits one or more digits then we have to do plus and if i run it i'll get 3 to 14 and at rate data vision dot as well so okay we got everything but we also got at the rate and dot at the rate and dot so how do we remove it we can remove it using span so how do we get the span so let me store it let me store it in something called as index let me say index equals to okay and then i'll say index dot span it will give me 3 comma 14 so it is returning a tuple tuple of my starting index and ending index so all i need to do is for my search string email i have to say 3 plus 1 to 14 minus 1 i don't want at the rate and plus if we if i print index you can see that at the rate and dot are also getting matched so that is the reason i want to remove these two okay now i got data vision so let me check does it work for everything so let me uh, try it for info at ksrconsultant.com okay so here we got 4 and 20 so let me just say 4 plus 1 and 20 minus 1 okay okay guys this is working so let me generalize this particular solution let me write a function i'll say uh extract domain and it will take string as an input or email as an input and then for this particular string i'll say index let me copy paste this and here instead of email it is string okay and then index index or span is returning a tuple so what i can do is i can do something like a my tuple equals to index of span and then i can say from my string say my tuple of 0 plus 1 to my tuple of 1 Minus one, so this will. Okay, I'm returning it. So this will give my extracted domain. So let me test this particular function as well. So I am passing email here, and it has correctly given us KSR consultant. It has given our results that we are expecting. The other way to do is instead of taking it as a tuple, let me just say start index and end index. Okay, and then instead of my tuple of zero, let me just give start index, and instead of end index, let me my tuple of one, let me give end index. Okay, this is more Python way of doing it. Instead of returning like you know catching it as a tuple and then using index, let me do start index and end index, and then at the state we are getting correct results. Okay, so if I want to do it for all the email addresses, I can do it using Loop for just a email in my email list. I say print off. I'm calling this particular function and I'm passing each email ID. Okay, here you are, we are, we can see data vision, KSR consultants, Gmail, test, and Yahoo. We got everything here. So this is how we can do it. So to impress the uh like you know interviewer what we can do is we can make this code generic and error free so is our code error free so if i give something called hello if i give something called as sorry hello will my code run without any errors let's check here okay here if i do it we got an error we got an error saying none type object has no attribute span the reason is if i give hello here and do search if there is no such match if there is nothing that uh, like you know particular index uh, like you know such thing doesn't match then it returns none type it doesn't return in a span at all so if i try to do span it throws an error so what i want to do is 
only if a match is found only if a match is found then do it then do search and only then do return otherwise don't return anything if i do this and then if i do if i do it for everything here you can see if the match is found it will return the match if no match is found it will return so guys this is how we extract email addresses so let me remove everything and let me keep only the function and my loop okay so for this works for any any value so let me just say test at uh just say instead of test it replace replace dot com okay if i run it again it works we are getting replaced again so this is how we extract domain from email addresses okay guys let's move to second question the second question again the difficulty level is easy again so here in this case earlier we have extracted domain name from list of email addresses now the task is to extract all email addresses extract all email addresses from a given string so here in this particular example contact at ksrconsultantservices.com is one email id and info at test.com it is one more email id so we have to extract all these email addresses okay now pause the video write on your own and then come back and look at my solution so pause the video now okay friends let us look at solution let me copy this string again okay i copied it let's go back to jupiter let me create a header bookmark saying extract email from string okay and then let me say string my string equals to this this is my entire string and if i print of string you can see there are two email addresses contact at ksrconsultantservices.com and info at test.com there are two email addresses so let us try to extract both these email addresses so let us try to do exactly what how we have done using search so what we need to do now is add a search and then i want to do it for string and what do i want to do everything like you no know, all these so whatever is having like you know the numbers digits and everything like a to z capital a to capital letters small letters digits etc followed by at the rate symbol and then followed by everything the same thing followed by dot followed by same everything like a to z capitals and small letters and then zero to one but usually if you think uh, like nothing will be there won't be any uh, like no line dot Uh, consultant services dot nine com, consultant services dot uh, zero com, etc. Or z co dot in right, uh, zero co, etc. That won't be there. We can have something like ninety nine acres. So ninety nine, the value can be there in domain name, but the dot com dot in dot us that doesn't have any digits. So we can safely remove this zero to nine. Here. We can safely remove. And as we have already mentioned, we want one or more occurrences. So let me just say plus. Let me just say plus. If you want zero or more pluses, I'll say star. But I don't want to say star because we need at least one value. Both the email ID, the main uh, one, and the domain one, domain name, and also for uh, like you know the dot com, dot us, dot in, etc. We want at least one. So I'll say plus. So let me run it. So I got a match, and the match is contact contact at ksr services dot. Okay, I did not just put here. Uh, I did not put plus here. Okay, contact at ksrconsultantservices.com. Okay, we got the match, but the problem is there are two email addresses. There are two email addresses, and our uh, like you know code is extracting only one. The reason is search. The search part of rejects will extract the first occurrence, the first match. It doesn't give all the matches. to get all the matches what we need to do is do find all do find all and here this will give everything all the email addresses that matches this particular string uh, sorry particular condition in a given string so it will return all the matching 
pattern in a given string. So this is how we extract all the email addresses from a given list of strings. And if there is, let me just say one more string, let me just copy paste it, but without any email addresses, without any email addresses. If I, sorry. If I run it, so there is no error here. So our error is, our code is error free and we don't have to generalize because this is only one line of code. So we don't have to generalize. So we can leave it as it is. So if this is my string containing uh, two email addresses, it will return both the email addresses. If my string doesn't contain any email address, it doesn't return any. So this is how we extract all the email addresses from the search string, guys. So thank you, and we'll be posting a lot of interview questions. So stay tuned. Thank you, and see you all in our next video. Have a good day. Bye.